Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is the second part of angle major and angle bisector. So we'll talk about both of those in this lesson. Let's first talk what's called the angle addition postulate. It says this, you guys, if you have an angle where, where S some point is inside of an angle, so here's point S, it's inside of angle PQR. If that's the case, then uh, here's this ray right here, ray QS. What this does is, is it says that this whole angle PQR equals this angle right here, PQS, plus this angle SQR. So I tell my students this piece plus this piece equals the whole piece. Here, here's an example of some numbers right here. Let's say this is 74 degrees right there. And let's say this other angle is 40 degrees right here. Then the whole angle right there is going to be 74 plus 40, so 114. Okay, sometimes they'll give you the whole angle and say it's 114, and they'll tell you that this angle is 74, so you'll use a little subtraction to get this angle right here. Okay, uh, I think one of your assignments or one of your homework problems has one of those, so... An angle bisector is a ray that uh, it cuts an angle in half. So here it says it divides an angle into two equal angles that have the same measure. So, so here's an angle bisector right here. If this is an angle bisector, ray BD, so ray D BD bisects angle ABBC right there, then what this says is ABD, here's ABD, says this angle right here equals this angle right here, okay? And so these two angles are half of the whole angle right here. So for example, let's say the whole angle is equal to 60 degrees right there, okay? And, and also that uh, the ray is bisecting that 60 degrees. Well, if it bisects the 60, it cuts them into 30s, you guys. So um, they're equal, uh, e equal angles that are half as big as the original. So that's what angle bisectors do. All right, so we're gonna use a compass and a straight edge in this one right here. So I have the compass over here. Let's get the compass out right here. And a straight edge, and uh, I don't think we need a straight edge on this one. We just need to, actually we do need a straight edge on this. All right, so let's go ahead and make this construction right here. Let's get this out of the way. So I got all these steps coming here. And we're going to construct an angle bisector. We're going to use this compass to make an array that goes right up the middle. And this is how you do it, you guys. First place the point on M right there. And we're going to draw an arc through both sides of the angle. So let's make sure, um, I think I have it in blue, I think. So so let's um, uh, uh, make sure I'm going to go put it right there. It says put it on point M right there. Okay, let me, uh, let me make sure I got the right width right there. And then it says uh, draw an arc through both sides of the angle. So it's, it, make sure your point's on point M, and you're going to go and draw a point right there and it says we're going to label these two points right here P and Q okay so I did that right there so I did a little bit bigger but same thing right there okay and then so the second step is this you guys let me move this out of the way so the second step is place the uh, the point of the compass on P so I'm going to put P right up here and draw an arc in the interior of the angle. So I'll go out here and draw an arc out here. Okay, so let me go put this up here on P. Let me rotate that around a little bit so we can grab it. It goes off the page a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go right there, and then we're going to just draw an arc out here. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to draw an arc out here. That's what this says. Okay, so, uh, and then the next step says we're going to, um, without... Without adjusting the compass, we're now going to take this point, uh, the pointy part of the compass, we're going to go put it down here on point Q and draw another arc that intersects the arc that we just drew. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to rotate it around. Let me rotate it around a little bit here. Okay, you have a little bit easier time because uh, yours isn't on the computer. Okay, so, so I'm going to put it right there on Q. And then what I'm going to do, it says... It says to draw an arc so it intersects this first arc that we did right there, okay? All right, let's move this compass out of the way now. Okay, so now this is an important part right there, and we're going to name this uh, point R right there. So my arcs are probably a little bit different right there, yeah. So there's point R right there. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is just uh, use our straight edge right here and connect M to R right there. So here we go. We're going to just go ahead and use our straight edge. Now, I'm not going to use this ruler right here. You can, but it's it just kind of takes me a little bit longer. Well, let's see if I can right here. Uh, where's my rotate? There we go. So we're just going to line that up right there. 
we're gonna uh, line that down anyways it's it's harder for me to do it on here I'm gonna use this straight edge right here okay so um, we're just gonna go ahead and and I don't know what color I have this on here sorry uh, get it on blue okay so we're gonna draw that ray right there and then so that ray MR is now the angle bisector okay so MR is the angle bisector of this thing here let me close this out I don't use this too much okay so there's an angle bisector all right so uh, let's use a compass and straight edge to construct the angle bisector of this guy okay so let's just slide this compass over here let me stand this compass up okay so we'll go this way here okay so it's easier for you because you're just doing it on your piece of paper our first thing to do is to make an arc through both sides of the angle okay all right so uh, we're going to go through both sides of this angle right here there we go and then we're gonna take this point right here and go over here put it right there probably have to stretch out this compass a little bit more um, and then we're gonna arc uh, up here a little bit so we're gonna arc out in the middle of this guy right here and whatever arc that is we're gonna take that same compass opening and take that over here and then arc it uh, right through here and it has to intersect the other arc okay so I want that point right there and so that point we're going to use a straight edge connect them up and then so that would be an angle bisector of that obtuse angle right there okay I think this one's the easiest construction to do besides a segment construction that's pretty easy also all right all right so this one says let's go back what we did in the last lesson you guys part one use a straight edge and compass to copy uh, the angle right there so what we're gonna do first is get our straight edge I'm gonna cheat a little bit I'm gonna use this as my straight edge right here and I'm gonna copy it right here on this guy right here let's put a point over here we gotta know where a point is right here so here's a uh, a point and then we're going to copy this angle so from the last lesson we're going to uh, take this and we're going to uh, first thing put uh, put an arc through both sides of the angle so let me see if I can uh, rotate that around a little bit and then shrink it up a little bit okay and then we're going to uh, arc it through both sides of the angle and then this arc right here oops that's a little bit thick let me take that off sorry about the the slowness of this you guys um, this arc right here um, uh, is uh, we got to use the same arc on this segment over here so now we're going to take this opening of the compass and go down here and do that same arc okay and, and here we go so we're going to go back that way and then our second step is we're going to put the pointy right here so let's go ahead and put pointy right there and then we got to adjust our compass opening so it's the same opening to the this point right here so I gotta grab this open it up and find where it just goes across right there okay looks like right there maybe a little bit closed in just a little bit okay alright so um, uh, I'm gonna I tell my students to draw a little arc this is showing their work and then we just take this over here do the same thing and draw another little arc right there and then where those arcs intersect we just connect that up with the straight edge so here we go I'm gonna connect that up with the straight edge and then this angle is gonna equal that angle and if we had a protractor and if I had more time in this video I'd take a protractor and measure those right there okay alright so that's how we copy an angle so what is the relationship between let me see if I can get this out of here um, close okay what's the relationship between um, uh, a segment bisector and an angle bisector well a, a segment bisector divides a line segment into two equal segments and the angle bisector divides an angle into two equal angles okay uh, what uh, when we copy an angle do the lengths of the segments uh, that we drew to represent the two rays affect whether the angles have the same measure well no it doesn't matter what the length of the segments are so you know um, uh, the angle measure is talks about you know how many angles in a degree of a circle the whole circle is 360 so when you do an angle you know your rays can be as long as possible so it doesn't matter how long the sides are the angle measure is still going to be the same all right most protractors have two sets of degree measures around the edge 
uh, when we use uh, uh, them to measure an angle, how do we know which measures to use? All right, well, let's get a protractor to see what they look like here. Let's see. So the, uh, this protractor has uh, two numbers on it. It has an outside number and it has an inside number. Come on, let me grab that. Ah, it's not going to let me. Protractor. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the outside numbers. And so, so which numbers do we use? Okay, well, there's some small numbers that go up to 90 on the inside, and then there's bigger numbers right here. Well, you always line this up to the, the vertex right there, and then wherever the zero is, if your angle's going this way, your zero's on the outside, so you use the outside numbers. But if your, your ray of your angle goes this way, then you use the inside numbers wherever the ray is on, on, on the, the angles right there. Or another way is this, you guys. You can, if the angle is acute, then use the measures that are between 0 and 90. And if the angle is obtuse, use the measures that are between 90 and 180. All right, you guys. If you're in my class, I'm going to assign you guys that for your homework. Take care.